Okay, so you have a uh, worksheet in front of you with 12 problems. We're going to uh, fo go through these together. Again, follow along with my work on your notes. Be sure to pause the video and do the work as I instruct you to. Um, there's going to be times when I say to uh, see if you can find the X or to take a moment to think about what you would do to graph it or to put your first dot down or whatever it might be. Um, <clears throat> that is so you can ensure you have the proper instincts. Uh, if you, all you do is copy and follow what I do, then you're going to get the job, you're going to get the worksheet done, but you're not really going to get better at doing it for yourself, which as you know, at the end of this week and by the time we take the test in a few weeks, uh, you're going to have to be able to do it for yourself. Uh, this worksheet is to be handed on in for pretty much all or nothing credit, which means either you choose to do everything I ask you to do or you might as well not do it at all and go ahead and take the zero, but again, that is your choice. Uh, number one just wants us to graph and shade each system of inequalities. Uh, look at this first equation here and take a moment to see if you can find x and y. Again, pause the video just for a moment and see if you can find x and y for yourself. I'm going to keep teaching because, again, you have time to pause it whenever I say that. Uh, but what we would do here is start out with our 2x equals 12, remembering that. And then, of course, that means if I divide by 2, that x is going to be 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, when you go to find y, you get 3y equals 12, which of course means 12 divided by 3 is 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the next thing we want to do is make sure we look and recognize that this is a dashed line, not a solid line. And so we take those two and we draw a dashed line through those two points. After that, as we learn, what we do is we test 0, 0, which means we turn this, and if you want to do that now, please do, but think about what your answer is going to be, whether it's true or false, but that's going to turn into a 0 plus 0 greater than 12, which is 0 is greater than 12. Uh, we know, of course, that that is false, but here is what we have to do differently. Uh, yesterday, if we would have found out it was false, we would have shaded this whole thing, but because we have two lines, that's where we want to do the alligator teeth, so we're not going to shade the whole thing. We're just going to kind of put the little indicator saying that 0, 0 is false, so we're going to shade above that line. Then we go through. Go ahead and take a moment to uh, get x and y for that. So again, pause the video to do that. But where we would start is at 3x equals 6, which means, of course, x is 2. So put that here. And then we would start at negative 2y, which is the key part here, equals 6, which means that y is negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And that is a regular line because, of course, it's got the equal to portion under it. And so we go ahead and draw that line all the way across the region there. We then have to test 0, 0 again on this one. So we end up with 0 minus 0 less than or equal to 6. And looking at this, that actually does make sense to me, which means it's true. And so we will go towards 0, 0, which if that is your 0, 0, then here is where we're going to go. Again, use your uh, alligator teeth way of shading that and take a moment again before you let me do this to figure out where you think you should shade but again you're looking for the alligator teeth in both parts of course that has none this has none on the top that has none on the top the area we should be shading is here and that is what we're going to do uh, on your test you're going to get a point for having the graphs drawn right that's one point for the graphs you get another point for having the proper types of graphs going and you get one more point for getting it shaded right so even if all you know how to do is graph them you're going to get one point if you know how to graph them with the proper type of line you're going to get two points and if you know how to do that as well as shade and find the alligator as we like to say uh, then that's going to be all three points on that uh, quiz or test that you take when you get to that number two again take a moment to uh, see and think about what you would do to graph this in terms of uh, what this is telling you. But in this case, remember whenever y is by itself, that this is the easy graph where all I do is look here, this 4 is telling me to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And keep in mind that x is telling me to go up 1 over 1. And then again, because that has the line under it, we are going to go that direction with a solid line next thing we do is test 0, 0. So we get 0, copy the sign, 0 minus 4. Of course, the 0 always goes away. And your question to yourself is, does this make sense? Should the alligator be eating 0 or negative 4? Yes, it should. So in that case, we go towards 0, 0. Again, we are not going to shade the whole thing because there is a second line here. We're just going to do the alligator teeth.
across the top portion of that line towards 0, 0. Again, looking at this one here, um, this part here is telling me to go up one and put a dot, and this is telling me to go down two over one and put a dot, and then draw my line through those two points. So I end up with, and again, that is a dashed line. That's another thing I had to catch before I did that. So a dashed line going through that would look like this. Keeping in mind that zero, zero is on this side of the line. Uh, now we need to test it, so we end up with 0, copy the sign, 0 plus 1. Again, the 0 always goes away on those. Does that, does that make sense to us? I don't think so. So we go on the opposite side of that line. And again, looking at this and thinking about which direction you're going to go, uh, it should be this portion here that we actually shade. Most of you understood the shading, so I don't see that that should be an issue. Um, on that assessment that I gave yesterday. Uh, most of you understand how to graph for the most part uh, so I think that as long as you're taking your time on this and not rushing through it that you should be able to get at least one or two points out of this even again if your shading is off to make sure you're doing what you need to do on that. Number three again if you take a moment to go ahead and uh, just get the information for these two graphs um, even the true false thing actually just for this graph in general so just do the uh, points and then figure out whether it's true or false and then we'll see if what you got is right um, again if you just pause that video for a moment to do that on the first graph I'm gonna go ahead and start right now the first thing we start out with is 5x equals 10 which of course means that x is equal to 2 which puts me there you'll notice I'm not putting the ones down but you want to make sure you're doing that I'm just doing this because we need to get through all the information here um, then you have negative 2y equals 10 which of course means that y is negative 5 1 2 3 4 5 we then look at the symbol recognize that there is no equal to portion on that symbol and so it means that we are going to draw a dashed line across this region we then have to test 0 0 so we get 0 minus 0 and 10 of course that makes 0 and 10 this does not make sense to me and so it means we're going to be on this side of the line because it's false and we get away from zero zero whenever it's false. So again, if you would take a moment to pause the video, get all the information you need over here for the second graph. Again, I'm going to go ahead and continue in a couple seconds here. This one should be pretty easy. Uh, you start out with x equals 2, which of course is the answer. So x is 2, there's your dot. Then you also go down to y equals 2, which means that y is going to be here. You then recognize that this also does not have a equal to portion on it, so we're going to draw a dashed line again across that region. And again, we test 0, 0, so 0 plus 0 and 2. Again, I don't think that that is true, so we are going to go away from 0, 0, which means that we jump across this line here. And we again put the alligator teeth on the opposite side. Taking a moment to look at this, and to figure out where exactly you're going to shade. Remember again you're looking for two sets of alligator teeth on the uh, portion. It means we're going to end up over here. Alright. Number four. Um, again go ahead and Actually, if you want to, if you think you know how to graph this, go ahead and try to graph it, especially if you're writing in pencil, and uh, get the first line, at least the dots, down like you think they should be, and then we'll go from there. Also, see if you can do your true or false for 0, 0, and then we'll continue on from there. I'm going to start now. Um, remember, this 3 is telling me to move 1, 2, 3 up, and 1 half is telling me to go up 1 over 2. This is telling me to draw a dashed line, so I'm going to do that now. testing 0, 0, you end up with 0 less than 0 plus 3. Looking at that, it actually does make sense because the 3 is bigger than 0, so that is true. And again, if that is true, we're going to go towards that 0, 0 location. Again, true means go towards. That's what I remember. T just stands for towards 0, 0 on that. Here, when you go to graph that, again, if you want to take a moment to go through all the information for that without graphing it, that's fine. Uh, or even to graph it is fine. Uh, tells me to go up one and put a dot.
and then because it's negative x, that's like negative 1x, which means go down 1 over 1, put a dot. And again, this is telling me that I need a dashed line. So we draw a dashed line across that region. We again test 0, 0, which is on the bottom side of this line. 0, 0, plus 1. I don't think that makes sense to me because this should be going towards the 1, not the 0. So that's false, which means we jump over the line and stay away from 0, 0. And again, if you take a moment now to determine where you think it should be, that should take care of everything you need. And we end up here on the right side. Again, I hope you realize that if you are making mistakes on this, when I go to check it, if anything's off, you're losing your credit. So I hope that you're copying um, what I do, not just leaving your errors on there. you got to have some sort of a study guide whenever everything gets done. Number five, um, x minus 2y less than 2. Again, take a moment and go ahead and get all the information you can on this. Find your x, your y, and then determine if it's true or false. But based off of what I see, the first thing I would write is x equals 2, which of course puts me here. Then I would put negative 2y equals 2, which means that y is negative 1, which means go down 1. From there, this tells me to draw a dashed line, which I'm going to do. And the test 0, 0 is 0 minus 0 and 2. I think that this looks and makes sense to me because it would be going towards the 2 which is true and so we go towards 0 0 again if you want to go through all that information and go ahead and graph that and find out if it's true or false that's also fine but here we end up with uh, this tells us to go up one because remember this is a y equals graph it's slope intercept so go up one and put a dot this says go down three and go over one and because there is a line under it it means that we are going to draw a regular line here through both of those. 0, 0, if you look at it, is still on the left side of that line, which means this is towards and that is away. Um, so we now have 0, 0 plus 1. I think that, that is also true because it would go towards the 1. So again, towards 0, 0 is on this side, so we are going to go this way. And again, looking at the, the teeth on these regions, we are looking at shading the upper right portion of that graph. And then the last thing, number six, if you want to go ahead and try to graph those, again, just make sure you fix them if you make an error. Also try to see if you can determine whether it's true or false. Uh, but this is telling me to go down three and then up two over one with a dashed line. Testing 0, 0, I end up with 0 greater than 0 minus 3. If you ask me, that is facing the right way, so that is true, which means we go towards. Again, true means go towards 0, 0, so that's what we do there. The second graph is telling me to go up 2 and put a dot, and then down 3 over one and put another dot and again draw these with a dashed line notice again that zero zero is on this side of the line which means that that is your towards that is your away but testing zero zero I end up with that because remember anything that has a variable is going to turn to zero that also is true because of course two is bigger than zero so that's true which means we go towards zero zero on this side and we end up with this being our region so with that said I am not going to go any further what I need you to do is take a moment to work on the rest of the problems on your own uh, when you finish again make sure you listen carefully to all this uh, when you finish I need you to click on the second video and actually check your answers. That does not mean just click on the second video and then say, okay, I did it and hand it in because I will be checking this and either you're going to get full credit, which should help your grade, or you're going to get a zero, which is definitely going to hurt your grade. And I want you to make sure you get everything you can out of this. Uh, I need you to circle any problems that you miss. 
So, um, again, I will not take points away from what you miss because if you missed all six, but you have all six circled and you honestly checked them out and saw what, what happened and what you might have missed, and that's fine. But uh, if you do not properly check your graphs for correctness, that means that if you miss uh, three of them, but you don't have any of them circled, then I'm going to take all the points away, and you don't want to do that. This is a very easy A. It's a very easy extra credit spring break gift that I'm trying to give you here. I just need you to make sure you do your job on that. So if I find any wrong graphs that have not been marked as incorrect, you're going to lose all your points. You may work together on your graphs. Just make sure you work quietly because, again, um, this is not a time to really be messing around. Just make sure you're asking questions and trying to figure out how to do those. And again, once you finish those six graphs, go back to the second video, or sorry, go back to uh, Google Classroom, watch that second video, and it's just a real quick check. I'm just going to, the answers will be up, they'll be visible, and uh, I'll be explaining exactly what um, went on in each problem. So go ahead and get started on that, uh, and good luck.